you know, I, I, he helped me out. And he, and he was like me. He said, you grew up with punishing God, didn't you? Oh, man. I said, you know what? Every time me and the boys stole something, we'd fall down, scrape our knee, get hurt, break an arm, they'd steal from us. We'd say, right away, we knew that God was getting even with our ass. I hung around with Catholics all my life. You know, you are what you pay attention to. They were talking about this punishing God, and I thought for a long time he was after my ass, I'll tell you that. I said, I don't know about this God thing, man. You know, it's like, you know, and I remember him taking me to my apartment, and we did the third step prayer. My first one was, take my will and my wife, you know. He said, no, no, don't go that way. He did one with me because he was, said he was working with me. He needs one. He said, come on, man, it was nighttime. He said, come outside. I said, okay. The stars were out. He said, pick out a star. I said, that one, that real bright star. He said, yeah, come on back in. Remember that star. Okay, go back in and we're talking about some shit. Now later we come back out. Where's your star? I come back out. I said, oh, shit, somebody moved it. He said, yeah, and it wasn't you, was it? I said, no. <laughs> it was like, and I said, oh, there is something more powerful than I am. He said, you bet your ass. The Narcotics Anonymous is more powerful than you are, too. You know, and there was this old guy, Joe, old dolphine, sat in the other fellowship. Clean a long time. Sat in the back room. He was one of them guys. He didn't have to say nothing. You could see the wisdom all over his ass, you know. And I said, what would you do with this God thing, Joe? He said, Gil, I figure I better believe in there's a God there. Just in case he is there, not believe in him. Then find out he was there. You know, hold that, like, you know, backdoor protection, you know. Like, so, yeah, okay, so I kind of like what was that. And I can remember calling on this God. You see, I didn't have him when I started this step. My decision was, I'm going to do the rest of the steps in Narcotics Anonymous, or I'm not going to live. I'm not going to make it. And I said to that God, I don't know who you are, where you are, what you are. I'm going to go through the rest of the steps in Narcotics Anonymous. Only if I need you will I call on you. Wise ass me. See, I don't know about step 11, you know. It's like, you know, I've set myself up. But that prayer that I said to him, that deal was I accepted an outcome before it even happened or I wouldn't be here today. As I look back at it now, nothing changes in that third step except that decision to do a fourth step.